Now, in this trigonometric equation, uh, we see it looks actually quite simple. It looks actually like, well, this, this can't be too bad. Um, but once you've tried a few things to try and get this cos to be a sine or that sine to be a cos, you realize it's not going to happen. Uh, if you, we make this square root of 1 minus sine squared x, uh, um, in other words, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is if we follow our three steps, positive, acute, and simple, okay there's my uh, positive acute and simple angles interior angles are the same and you try the second thing changing everything into cos and sine that's what i have but now i want all of it to be the same thing i want for my third step to have a trig ratio equal to a constant okay then i actually see well man this is not so easy okay well it's really not that difficult if you keep in mind our double angle um identities in other words that 2 sine theta cos theta would equal sine 2 theta or that s cos squared theta minus sine squared theta is equal to cos 2 theta there we go Okay, in other words, can if if I can get this expression somewhere, I can get rid of a sine and cos that that's different, and I can change it into a sine. Or if I have a cos squared and a sine squared together, then either they can make one if it's cos squared plus sine squared, um, sine squared. Then then I can get one. And sorry, there should be a theta. I shouldn't write it like that. But then I can change it into 1. Or if there's a negative between the two or the signs are different, I can change it into cos 2 theta. Okay, so is that possible here? Well, I hope you see yes. It is. If I multiply both sides with a cos of x, cos of x, then I get this. I get negative 4. I can write as negative 2 times 2. Okay, just so that I have that 2, because I want that 2. And then I get sine x times cos x okay and there I see oh lovely okay sine x times cos x is equal to um, 1 okay and then from here I know okay, well that's not so bad my next step would be to change this into sine 2 theta so that becomes sine 2 theta this negative 2 can I, I can divide on the other side Okay, so I divide both sides with a negative 2 as well. So I get sine 2 theta is equal to negative a half. And that's great. That's, that's a trig ratio equal to a constant. So our next step is to find the reference angle. Okay, reference angle for a half sine gives me a half if I have 30 degrees. Okay, and negative a half means that sine should be negative. So we can just make this a fourth quadrant reference angle. So giving it a negative and now sine a of negative 30 gives me negative a half okay now finding my two solutions okay my general solution is now either remember now I take my interior angle usually it's just an x like here oh, I made it a theta that shouldn't be theta it should be x sorry okay you usually it's just an x so sometimes it's just an x then I just have x is equal to my reference angle negative 30 plus uh, 360 degrees times k but this time it's not just an x there's a 2x in there so 2x is equal to that which means that x is equal to everything must now be divided by 2 okay so that I get negative 15 degrees plus 180 okay that's my one solution okay and my second solution would be 2x is equal to and now the other part where sine is positive is 180 minus my reference angle but my reference angle is negative that's why it makes it a plus 30 degrees okay so now I can see oh 180 plus puts me in the third quadrant where sine is also negative which is what I want okay so plus plus 360 degrees times k okay. Okay, so now if I divide everything with 2 as well, 180 plus 30 gives me 210. 210 divided by 2 gives me 105 degrees plus 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees times K. And just remember to 
remind everyone reading that k is an element of integers cool and that's it i hope you are happy with how to solve something like this uh, i can maybe just briefly show you what the other one might look like so i might have something like this sine squared theta is equal to let's say um, 0 comma 4 plus cos squared theta okay and here we see ah oh, okay if i take this to the other side if, in other words i subtract cos squared on both sides then i find cos squared theta then i find i have sine squared theta minus cos squared theta is equal to 0 comma 4 now just be careful here cos squared minus sine squared is cos 2 theta sine squared minus cos squared is obviously it's like saying uh, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 then 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 okay just keep that in mind so this will be equal to negative cos 2 theta okay is equal to 0 comma 4 so cos 2 theta is equal to negative 0 comma 4 and now you can find your reference angle using a calculator and you do the rest exactly the same the only difference is now we're working with cos okay so I'm not going to come finish that question that was just a, a, a demonstration of how you would recognize the double angle formula here and uh, also take note that it might be the case that you use the compound angle formulas that's also very very possible so I'll see you in the next video or in the next set of videos where we are going to look at uh, more complex trig equations see you there